Every day, Kyle will come to school with a tube, his box of formula, and a syringe. And he'll sit down for you. Doesn't matter if he's eating while you do this, obviously. This is just to keep him quiet. And his button will be right here. You can open it. It might already be open. If it has a dressing, just ask him to remove it, and he can take that right off for you, and you'll be ready to go. The most important parts of the tube is the clamp. This is going to control your flow. This is a med port. You want to make sure that this is closed because if it's not closed, then formula is going to come out and it'll be a problem. And then this is where you stick the syringe in. This is the part that attaches to his button. There's a little knob at the top that locks it in. There's a little cutout right there where it fits. And then you just turn it because you don't want the cutout and the lock part to be at the same place or it might come out while you're feeding. Um, feel free to just twist it. It should have a lot of play to be in whatever place you need it. Leave it clamped when you attach it, otherwise stomach contents might come out. The syringe comes with a plug. You're not going to need that. It also is cathetered, so make sure you take that off. Um, if you don't and you stick this in, you're going to fill it for full of formula and wondering why it's not flowing and you'll have a predicament on your hands. So you just stick the syringe in. Um, you shake up the box. It's just like a juice box. You cut the side for easy pouring. You hold it up. You unclamp. So in case you do that before you pull this in. Stop. Now you're ready to pour. I unclamp it because if there's gas in his stomach, you want that to come out before you put any formula in. And then you just pour it in. I choose not to fill it all the way up in case there's a bubble or something happens. And it's called a bolus because it's a gravity feed. So you just have to let gravity do the work and it'll flow at its own speed. Sometimes it takes a second to start as the pressure equalizes between the stomach and the tube. Sometimes it starts right away. And then you just gradually Keep adding and letting it go down until the box is empty. And there's eight ounces, so it'll typically take three to five um, pours of the formula into the tube. If you're finding that it's not flowing, you might want to check the clamp to make sure that it's open and um, that you took off the catheter tip um, on the syringe because those are all common problems. <laughs> Kyle doesn't find any of this uncomfortable or unusual. So that's the full box of formula, and the box can be just thrown in the trash when it's empty. Now you just wait for it to go down as low as you can get it. It will go all the way out of the syringe, but it won't flow, flow all the way through the tube. So sometimes if Kyle is talking or breathing, it won't um, go very far in on the attachment tube. So then we just ask him to stop breathing <laughs> and stop talking. So that's as low as it's going to get. Clamp it. If you don't clamp it and you take this off, that sticky formula is going to get everywhere. You just pull it out and you re-clip it. It might leak a little. Sometimes it's good to have a tissue close by to just wipe out the little place where it spills, but it'll dry. It's not a big deal. The syringe, you'll get a new one every day, so it can go directly in the trash. You leave this clamped, you stick it back in the Ziploc bag, and you 
send it back to Kyle to put in his backpack and come home. And you're done.